meet the 1988 TV series that left an indelible mark on the industry. Superboy burst onto screens with a straightforward charm that captivated audiences. What enduring qualities make this show a timeless symbol of the entertainment world? Stick around, because we've got a trove of funny, shocking, and sad facts about to unfold. As you dive into the Superboy universe, you'll find yourself wondering how a single series could evoke such diverse emotions. It's a journey that has inspired many, leaving an impact on lives in unexpected ways. Have you ever experienced a personal connection with this series that changed the course of your own narrative? Share your stories in the comments below. And now, brace yourself for the most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic show. We would love to hear about the moments that have stayed with you. Your stories add depth to the rich tapestry of Superboy enthusiasts. Keep watching, keep sharing, and let's celebrate the legacy of this unforgettable series. What's your story? We're all ears in the comments below. Premiering in 1988, the TV series Superboy swiftly became a standout in the entertainment landscape. Set against the backdrop of Smallville, the show unfolds the early adventures of a young superhero. It dives into the formative years of a character who would later become a symbol of hope. The plot revolves around his journey to understand and harness superhuman abilities while facing challenges that test metal. The narrative introduces a cast of characters inhabiting Smallville, each contributing uniquely to the protagonist's growth. The charming allure lies in its ability to balance action, drama, and a touch of humor. It crafts a world where the extraordinary blends seamlessly with the everyday, creating a captivating viewing experience. Character development takes center stage as he grapples with the responsibilities of newfound powers. The show ingeniously weaves a tapestry of challenges and triumphs, making it relatable to a diverse audience. As the series progresses, Smallville becomes more than just a backdrop. It transforms into a character in itself, shaping the hero we come to know. This series isn't just about flashy powers and epic battles, it's a journey of self-discovery and resilience. The chemistry between characters adds depth, and the storytelling is both engaging and thought-provoking. Superboy managed to strike a chord with audiences earning accolades and leaving an enduring legacy in the realm of superhero television. Without giving away too much, let's just say that it's a timeless classic that has influenced subsequent generations of superhero storytelling. Its impact goes beyond the screen, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers who have followed with the hero's journey from the very beginning. In conclusion, it's more than just a superhero series. It's a testament to the power of storytelling and character development. It's a reminder that even the mightiest heroes have humble beginnings and their evolution is as compelling as their feats. So, whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer, dive into the world of Superboy and experience a narrative that transcends time. In the 1950s, a pivotal era marked by post-war recovery and cultural shifts, the stage was set for the emergence of the 1988 TV series Superboy. This period witnessed the rise of the Cold War, the beginning of the civil rights movement, and the burgeoning influence of rock and roll. Amidst this backdrop, the show navigated its way into the hearts of viewers. The 1950s cultural milieu, characterized by a longing for stability and the advent of suburban living, mirrored the fictional town of Smallville in the TV series. As society grappled with the complexities of a changing world, it drew inspiration from the challenges faced by its characters. The narrative unfolded against the canvas of a nation seeking normalcy, reflecting the universal desire for a hero who could embody hope and resilience. The character personified the aspirations of a generation seeking to understand its own potential. The show's exploration of the superhero's formative years resonated with an audience navigating the uncertainties of their own lives. The struggles faced by the protagonist mirrored the societal upheavals of the time, creating a narrative that went beyond superhuman abilities. Smallville, the series setting, became a microcosm of 1950s America, reflecting the aspirations and struggles of a community grappling with change. The characters, each contributing to the hero's growth, echoed the diverse voices of a nation in flux. The series masterfully blended action, drama, and humor, mirroring the multifaceted nature of the era it depicted. In essence, the 1950s cultural and historical context laid the foundation for the show to become more than just a superhero series. It became a reflection of societal hopes and fears, a tale of personal evolution set against a backdrop of national transformation. The enduring charm lies in its ability to connect with the human experience, transcending the boundaries of time. 
Superboy, originating in 1988, holds the distinction of being the inaugural weekly TV series produced at Disney Studios in Orlando, Florida. The second season saw a relocation to Universal Studios Florida, marking a historic shift as the studio's maiden venture into weekly television. Gerard Christopher's debut as the titular character occurred at the age of 30, surpassing the ages of subsequent supermen, including Christopher Reeve, Dean Cain, Brandon Routh, Henry Cavill, and Tyler Hoechlin at their respective debuts. The series met an untimely end due to a legal clash initiated by Warner Brothers against the Salkinds, who initially leased the Superman film series rights. The lawsuit revolved around the rights to produce a TV series with Warner Brothers asserting precedence. The legal dispute was settled, leading to the series' cancellation and the rights officially reverted to Warner Brothers. Since then, the show hasn't been rerun in North America, though a DVD release of the first season occurred in 2006. Superboy's legacy endures as a pioneering production in the burgeoning entertainment hub of Orlando, marking a significant chapter in the evolution of superhero television. Stacey Haydeck, in 2021, marked the culmination of actresses portraying Lana Lang with red hair in the Superboy series. Her depiction diverged from later portrayals like Kristen Kruk on Smallville and Emmanuel Crickwe on Superman and Lois. Gerard Christopher, who embodied the titular character, took a hands-on approach by personally vending VHS tapes and DVDs on his website. He retained control of the master tapes until Warner Brothers acquired the rights and released official DVD sets, prompting him to cease his independent sales. The removal of Superboy from the regular DC continuity posed challenges to the Legion of Superheroes narrative. To reconcile, the show explained his existence in an alternate dimension crafted by the Time Trapper. This narrative maneuver occurred prior to the series airing, with the character meeting his demise a year or so before making his television debut. This strategic move set the stage for his entry into the superhero television landscape. Gerard Christopher, at 30 years old, assumed the role, surpassing the debuts of subsequent supermen like Christopher Reeve and Dean Cain. The series holds historical significance as the inaugural weekly production at Disney Studios in Orlando, later relocating to Universal Studios Florida for its second season. Unfortunately, a legal clash involving Warner Brothers and the Salkinds, who initially held the Superman film series rights, led to the show's cancellation. The rights then officially reverted to Warner Brothers, closing a chapter in the evolution of superhero television. Stacey Haydock stood as the sole regular cast member from the first season to continue into the second season and beyond. The University of Central Florida, situated in Oviedo, Florida, served as the backdrop for Schuster College in the series. The university setting for the initial two seasons featured the Siegel Center building, paying homage to Superman's original creators, Joe Schuster and Jerry Siegel. The show, originating in 1988, became the inaugural weekly TV series produced at Disney Studios in Orlando, Florida. It transitioned to Universal Studios Florida for its second season, marking a historic move for the studio into weekly television. Gerard Christopher assumed the role of the titular character at the age of 30, surpassing the debuts of subsequent supermen like Christopher Reeve and Dean King. The legal clash between Warner Brothers and the Salkinds, who initially held the Superman film series rights, led to the series' cancellation. Warner Brothers, asserting precedence, settled the dispute, officially reclaiming the rights and ending the television run. Despite its untimely end, the series remains a pioneering production in the entertainment hub of Orlando, contributing significantly to the evolution of superhero television. In 2021, Stacey Haydock marked the end of an era as the final actress to portray Lana Lang with red hair in the series. Gerard Christopher, embodying the titular character, took a hands-on approach by personally vending VHS tapes and DVDs on his website until Warner Brothers acquired the rights. Its removal from the regular DC continuity posed challenges to the Legion of Superheroes narrative addressed by placing the character in an alternate dimension created by the Time Trapper. The unique narrative maneuver allow would entry into the superhero television landscape, setting the stage for Gerard Christopher's portrayal. Despite legal battles and ultimate cancellation, the legacy endures as a significant chapter in the history of superhero television.